Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermodon. I'll be bringing you guys a video over Call of Duty Black Ops 2 today, and I guess to get the formal stuff out of the way before we jump into the main topic, or more or less a story today, um, at any time during the video if you guys enjoy something you hear, or if you guys just want to show your support, you guys can mash that positive reaction button, along with YouTube also has other features that I hope you guys will capitalize on, but that's completely up to you. Also, I would hope that you guys would engage in the comments in one way or another, but again, it's only up to you guys to uh, hopefully make that push. But when it comes down to it, guys, I'm actually going to be doing something a little different. I've done stuff like this in the past. This is nothing too out of my category or out of my zone. But I'm going to tell you guys a interesting story, and it actually happened yesterday, so I guess it's pretty prevalent in my mind. You know, a lot of things happened and occurred that, you know, maybe are a little bit more detailed than, you know, I guess I would imagine. But, you know, guys, it's just such a uh, tragedy, I guess you could say, in that perspective. So, as many of you guys know, I talked about in my PC video, I've upgraded and bought a bunch of stuff. A lot of this is for YouTube, and it benefits you guys in one way or another. That's hard to believe to some people, but it really does make the quality of the videos a lot more enjoyable. Granted, you guys are still watching HD PVR footage. I have not, as of this moment, recorded anything with the Elgato, and I look forward to doing that. But I'm trying to get rid of all this gameplay stuff, and you guys will probably be seeing a lot of videos, hopefully over the next couple of hours, or, you know, throughout the weekend that it finishes up here. But... To get into the main gist of it, guys, I actually started yesterday hooking up all my things, and this would have been Friday if you guys are watching this later in the week or whatever, but um, you know, I started to hook up my Elgato and all my microphone stuff, I started to get a little bit more tech savvy into my internals and my computer, and again, I talked about this in the last video that I uploaded, but when it came down to it, guys, there was a couple problems and um, just issues that arose that I wish I knew how to fix at the time, but looking back, I was really dumb, like, I know how to fix it now, but it was so much more complicated than just a standard issue. It wasn't something where I could simply just be like, okay, I see what's going on here, this is a simple fix, I can do this in no problem. Unfortunately, it wasn't like that, it was a long procedure that I wish I could have avoided. And, I guess I know I'm rambling here, but what happened was, guys, is that I tried to hook up the Elgato, and the Elgato had no problem. I was fluent, I understood what a lot of these wires meant, and I had no problem hooking it up. That was the easy part. But the problem does is that the HD PVR has an optical cable, which if you guys are unfamiliar with any of this stuff, don't worry, I would have been unfamiliar if somebody was telling me over the internet as well. But it's a little piece that the Astro A40s use to basically give you audio. If you don't have this piece hooked up, you can't have audio, at least when you play the console side of gaming. That's kind of the whole point to have a headset that costs $250, is that not correct? And I was kind of upset, I was kind of mad. Because for some reason my Xbox 360, which is the elite version that has 120, uh, 120 gigabytes, did not have an optical cable in it. Which was astounding to me because every other Xbox that I'm familiar with or have any knowledge about already comes pre-existing with an optical cable insert. And what really happened here guys is that I guess the elite doesn't have it. I spent hours contacting customer support on the Astro side. Unfortunately they do not have a telephone number which is kind of bullshit. I mean, you're a huge company and you are respected by so many people. Why would you not at least have the courage, I guess you could say, or the manpower to hook up a line that customers can call for support? But unfortunately, I had to do a ticket thing. If you guys are unfamiliar with that, I know Game Battles does something similar to that, but how does that relate? Well, I mean, a ticket thing is basically where you try and your best to explain the issue and they will do their best to hopefully get back to you within 24 hours with a resolution or a resolve, or I guess that's what the word I was looking for. But, you know, that was no problem. But by the time I got a message back, I had already resolved the issue. And the issue was definitely not something that was a complete re resolve because it's still active. It's still a problem to a certain degree because there are different components that opened up to different issues, and now I have to try to compensate for those. And so I guess really to get back onto the story, the HD PVR had an optical cable, so in my pre-setup, my old setup, more or less, Everything worked fine. I had, could run all my systems, all my software worked perfectly together. My headset, no problem. And, you know, as long as the HD PVR was turned on, which obviously I'd have to have it turned on in the first place, otherwise I didn't get video and audio from my component cables that went into my TV and the um, the Xbox. Well, I mean they're a converter, but you guys get the main gist of what I'm trying to describe here. But I guess that was really the problem, but I fixed it because my brother has the newest Xbox, the one that has like the touch pad that turns it on and then opens it by pushing the also touch thing, that's when the tray comes out. And the awesome part is that this all worked out, there was absolutely no problems. The only problem that really arose was I have 120 gigabytes of information and he has four. And to some people like that's like, how did you transfer that? Well, 
it definitely wasn't easy, and I don't still have it all transferred, but I have a majority of my AAA titles over there. Anything that I'm going to be playing in the next week is already on this uh, flash drive. If you guys are unfamiliar, flash drives also work coherent or coexistent with the Microsoft product because they use a USB port, and if I'm correct, I think it's USB 2.0, which to most of you guys, that means absolutely nothing, but for anyone that has a little bit of tech knowledge, will know that you know 3.0 and 2.0 are completely different uh, departments. But anyway, I guess to really get on to the point of this, because you know, and that's where I'm trying to head, I had to transfer information from my flash drive, which was a 32 gigabyte one. I had to go buy it. It was like 20 bucks, and I was really surprised that it was only that cheap because I could have imagined, you know, Walmart or any retail store trying to mark up the price to, you know, gather more revenue. That's kind of the point of a business. People want to look at that in a bad way. To a certain degree, it's bad. I mean, if you're making a ridiculous markup, but I don't know, flash drives, I would have thought, you know, I would have been paying some 60 ridiculous dollars for something that doesn't take a whole lot of time to make. But I guess that's um, a different conversation for another video. But what ended up happening was is I spent about two hours transferring information, at least the AAA titles. I got Black Ops 2, and for sure I got Battlefield over, and I switched those no problem. Everything is perfectly... Uh, existing on this drive, and as long as it's plugged in, I have no problem. The cool thing about Alex's Xbox, which is my brother, I don't know if I've ever given you guys enough information about that, but the Xbox that I'm currently using with the touchpad and all that stuff, I don't know the exact name of it, but it also can hold five flash drives, and if you guys really wanted to go absolutely insane, you could buy 64 gigabyte flash drives, which cost about 50 bucks here. You do some simple math, and you would have about $300 worth of flash drives, but how does that relate? I mean, you'd have almost little over 360 gigabytes of information that you could store whatever you wanted on. Now granted, I probably wouldn't spend $300 on drives because it doesn't make any sense. I think you can actually buy an HDD, which is a hard drive, for a cheaper price. But, I don't know, I'm getting a little too tech savvy on you guys on this one, but I do apologize. But I guess the main story of what I was really trying to get at is that I got my thing fixed, everything is completely working, and I'm pretty impressed. You know, after hours of talking with customer service and bashed my head against the wall trying to figure out why this Xbox didn't come with an optical cable, the fix was right in front of me. And the cool part is that the guys from Astros actually sent me a direct link to Amazon so I can buy this thing. It was like $1.50 and it's a converter piece and it fits into, if you guys don't run HDMI, you guys will know that you have to hook this weird boxy uh, rectangle thing up to the back of your Xbox. Usually it's on the back, I don't think I've ever seen it in the front, but you never know. But what I'm really trying to say is that I bought that, it should be showing up here in the next week, and then I got to go through another two hours of transferring all the data from this uh, uh, flash drive back to my hard drive. And that's not going to be a big deal because it's only 32 gigabytes, but I want my old Xbox back because it's a lot better because of the sheer fact that I have 120 gigabytes of, you know, usable storage, but at the same expense, you know, it just doesn't get as hot as the new ones. Um, where I put my games at, I put this little case on the side of it. Well, unfortunately, that's where the fan's at, and then, in theory you're going to just absolutely annihilate the internals because they're going to be super hot and you could probably at a certain degree start decaying or ruining the pieces inside the Xbox. So, you know, just be careful where you guys put your stuff. I mean, I'm sure most of you guys don't stack a bunch of shit on yours anyway. I don't stack it, but, you know, I also don't have the most room in the entire world considering that I do have, uh, you know, three monitors, a 42-inch TV, and a bunch of equipment for, you know, YouTube. So my space kind of gets occupied by different components and all that stuff. But I thought I'd share this with you guys. You know, when you guys, um, if you guys ever decide to jump into YouTube, make sure you do your research. There's definitely a lot to take into account. It's a little bit more frustrating, a little bit more information than I think most people are willing to give people that are content creators credit for. But at the same expense, I do understand where you guys come from, but most of you guys are understanding. Most of you guys have an intellectual ability above retarded, so there's no problems there. We're all good. So, I appreciate you guys listening to my video. I hope you guys will enjoy, and when it comes down to it, guys, I'm going to sign off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is NMO, signing off. Peace.